tweak this a bit. Uh, white balance but quite correction this or maybe not maybe it looks fine I guess it's okay whatever so let me just yeah there you go we are seems to be live great cool um let's see yes mobile dashboard I wanted to try this thing uh, yes I know I am live but how the hell do I access my chat Account. there we go chat clips chat room is that okay. live oh, let's hope god damn it those um all right you know what let's just let's just put it here and let's do it okay cool <clears throat> so hi everyone how's it going team here and uh this is yet another live stream on electron app um if you are hearing weird loud sounds from um the background this is because I have a window open because it's quite hot today here but I want to stream anyway so uh, you are gonna hear obnoxious spikers and uh, car drivers that go just you know by my window but hopefully it won't stop us too much and won't be too much of a nuisance to all of you so let's jump right into it um, last time we did the testing stuff right so now we only have to build the app and uh, package it and deploy it essentially right so this is what we're gonna do today um, so first things first uh, this is our entry point right and our entry point loaded index HTML which in turn actually requires Babel and uh, index source so we can of course leave it as it is because I mean it's electron we're talking about and it's going to be locally deployed so it is not a major problem if we load all the files uh, dynamically but that still uh, sort of slows down the load time right so because all of those have to be separate separate requests and then the babel has to pre-process whatever we require here which is uh, not very nice so it would be way better if we could um, take this source index so we don't care about libs because they are just used in HTML manner that's fine they are already minified and compressed and everything but our source code we want to take it build it and compress it into one small minified optimized file as well right so this is what we want and um, to do that I mean obviously we could have used webpack that I set up from the beginning but it's a bit of a pain and you know development is much nicer like this for example obviously we don't have hot reload but whatever uh, so what I'm gonna do is since I already talked about webpack um, and you know let's use something new I think let me increase the size here I think we're gonna go with the roll-up so if you haven't heard about it it's another bundler uh, it's an ES6 specific bundler that has like tree shaking and all that kind of fancy stuff and it's very easy to use it's pretty great um, so we're gonna use roll up to roll up our index.js into one tiny app min.js to process it with Babel to minify it um, and you know then just basically depending on environment so if we say that this is a testing environment we're gonna require Babel and require source the same way we do now and if it's going to be deployment environment, we're going to require our pre-built uh, binary, right? Okay, so let us uh, di um, dive into the um, rollup. I have used it for some of my libraries, but I honestly don't remember anything as usual. So we are going to say add dev uh, rollup. So we're going to add it as development dependency, right? And um, we need we need a config so because I mean you can normally just use it with like a command line tool but that's not exactly um, not exactly helpful because we need to define like web uh, sorry Babel and uh, maybe some other stuff I don't remember what we exactly were using but it is Babel so we are gonna do um, I think we're gonna say that package JSON so we're gonna say build and in this case is gonna be a roll up minus C right and then we need a config uh, and for a config we need rollup config.js there we go so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna add rollup config.js and in this case we're gonna god damn it why there's so many of those guys okay whatever uh, yeah so this is gonna be source index.js right this is our entry point uh, I believe so yes and Format closure.js destination is gonna be app min.js. This is gonna go, okay. 
and then uh, we need Babel stuff. So let us, let me think. They had, I think they had a Babel example here somewhere. Babel, no, no. Babel, no, the Babel plugin, Lodash, that might be useful as well. So, I mean, basically Rollup is uh, pretty close to what Webpack or Browserify does. So it has a bunch of plugins that uh, essentially do what whatever you want it to do. Uh, so we are gonna say yarn at minus minus dev um, roll up Babel plugin. We're gonna import Babel plugin over here. Maybe we can even, or I don't know, rewrite the, um, what do you call it? The, oh God, um, rewrite the dependencies to use this resolve module, which allows you to basically do the, um, they have a link. I think it just basically allows you to do the apps that it requires, which is kind of nice. On the other hand, that would actually break our current setup. So maybe not. Yeah, okay. You know what, doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. So we are gonna exclude that. We already have the Babel RC here, right? Okay, so that should work. We don't need resolve. Just format that. Um, we don't really need that. Yes, yes, I think we can just simplify it to this. There we go. Okay, uh, yarn build. So um, it looks like a Babel configuration specifies a module transformer, please disable it. Uh, what kind of module transformer do I have? Um, plugins, modules. Ah, okay. This is what we want. So we want that preset latest and then we want to do it right. Okay. Because the, in this case, roll up actually handles the module transformation. So this is what we want and preset. I guess we want to put it into end preset, right? So we say targets and then we say yes, modules false. I believe it should be this way. No, it's not. Uh, latest uh, ES 2015 modules false. Um, all right, okay, let me think. We need a good example somewhere. Okay, Babel and preset roll up. Um, this Babel doesn't work with roll up, roll up plugin Babel. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's in the plugin repo itself. Let's see. So why yes, blah, blah, preset excludes, Babel RC, presets. Uh, oh, ah, it's a preset, okay. Uh, I am an idiot, of course, this is a preset, so we should do this, right? This is what we wanna do. Okay, um, could not resolve DB from source pages home. I guess something is screwed up here. Uh, yeah, that, that is, no, wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess it wants absolute imports, right? Mm, could not resolve API from source, but okay, yes. Uh, because it uses tree shaking, it actually wants the like proper absolute imports. Otherwise it cannot reliably do the tree shaking. Uh, or rather it's possible as it was shown by the webpack plugin for common GS3 shaking, but uh, it's kind of, you know, pain in the ass. Uh, okay, let me think API index we need. Yeah, so I need to say index and I need to say index over here. And uh, source cruncher. Okay, yes, we're gonna we're gonna be fixing this for a few minutes. Index. Come on. Uh, subtitles, subtitles, I guess this goes to index as well. Right, um, God, why are they so loud? Okay, source API, YouTube, um, what am I using? DB here as well, index. I am very happy that our code base is not too large. Components, navbar, uh, so pages, home, components, navbar, index, and I guess this goes index as well. Come on. Uh, series um, episode. This should be index. Uh, this not. Nah, come on, index. There we go. This should be index. Now, um, I imagine there is component series. Okay, so it's in the components. Uh, maybe I should get used to writing it like full path all the time because I, I, I remember that I'm, I, I did exactly the same in the end with my like library thing that I wrote. 
uh, which was uh, a bit annoying, but you know, uh, tree shaking benefits, especially for libraries, do defeat that like couple of minutes you spend into uh, fixing your import path. So, you know, let's see how that goes. Solve API source, pages, settings. Okay. Uh, yes, here we go. Index here. Come on. Where's my autocomplete? And components, chat, source pages, episodes. Yeah, we're almost, almost there, almost there. Index, there we go. Uh, Crunchyroll get serious. Uh, wait, what? Sor uh, default is not exported by source IP. Crunchyroll get serious. Source IP, Crunchyroll get serious. Uh, okay, I guess we have to say export default so it has to be did i use in some places oh yeah okay in some places yes six in some places i guess <laughs> that's my own fault that's my own fault for doing it in a stupid way right cool now we have our app um theoretically there we go there is admin js uh it is now it's not minified obviously so it's just concatenated in one file build and everything um what i'm thinking here is uh we do want to have some other stuff right so we're not only roll up uh sorry not only uh babel pre pre packaging but we also want to do like minification and stuff uh roll up plugin uglify that sounds like a good start and then there's also this warnings uh imported but could not resolve treating as external dependency um uh, what i need to do i don't remember what i need to do to do the tool to, to fix that uh ah, there, there's the wiki okay cool they actually added the last time i had to google that this time around they added the wiki entry which is very helpful um external suppress warning okay this is what we want right uh or plugin resolve node okay so we can can we actually just bundle everything into one one thing is that what this plugin does yarn adds dev let's try it I last time I used it there was no such plugin I believe so we are gonna say yes this is the plugin and then I believe it was resolve and then Babel right okay uh, build uh, oh okay and now more errors but that means we can just say they are ah, okay I uh, use module for a6 module j6 next um i guess we can just copy that and see if that helps uh, so let's see custom that it doesn't matter modules only uh yeah it doesn't matter jail i guess this doesn't matter Pre prefer built-ins don't care extensions don't care browser uh i mean it's not true because we are running in the node mostly right uh, may use main field yes uh, default true so we can kill that uh, we don't care about that and we don't care about that because it's default so we just say that we're not browser and uh, that doesn't matter as well so let's try with that right so uh, okay default is not a yeah i mean obviously this is like it's going to complain because most of those things are actually not i guess we, we can just ignore that right because we're not running um we're running from nodes or requiring the packages should not be that expensive um so we can just say rm roll up nodes uh okay remove yes please why not alias it it's <laughs> come on rm is a common thing it should be alias clear okay uh yarn build let's do this so uh there we go okay so now we have to say that what external yes there we go so we say external uh we got what we got react we got react router dom it's probably um uh, where is rxgs I don't remember why we used it, but whatever. React, there's Lodash. Lodash. And uh, let's just run build once more and see what else we're missing. Uh, there is Electron, which is definitely extra, extra, um, extraneous or external. There's Cheerio. 
um, request promise native. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be quite a list. Okay, almost there, react, then react DOM. Um, then what do we have, PowerDB browser. Play this parser, ML2GS, crypto. Jesus Christ, this is louder than my loudspeakers. Okay, we got that and then I can just do this and say uh, sort. There you go. Okay, nice, nice looking code now. Sorted very nicely. Nice, okay, we don't have any more errors. So now here's the question. If we do this, if I just say now require app min.js, in theory, in theory, that should work, right? So we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna see if that actually works. Eh, it seems to be working. It does, cool. Uh, now here's the question, uh, wait a second. Uh, developer tools, please. And is there no errors? Okay, cool. Um, let us pop, no, uh, I want them pop out. Okay, um, let's see settings, that seems to be working. Something like this. Let's open one of the episodes. And uh, it seems to be perfectly working, cool. So, and the bundle size is actually pretty small, I guess. Um, where is it, app ninjas, 43K, okay. Now the question is, can we use that um, plugin and roll up, like resolve some of the modules? Common JS resolve JS next main true. Hmm, ah well, you know what, whatever. Uh, I don't think that's important right now. So we roll this up now. Basically, what we need to do is we need to say uh, that, hey, I want to use this rolled up, uh, this build, pre built binary normally. And then I want to use the uh, test version whenever there is a test. We're in the test environment, right? So I'm gonna now, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say uh, node and test, right? And the same will go for, um, I guess, tests as well. And then basically we're gonna say if process and node and equals test, we're just gonna do this because require one execute as long as they're, um, and I guess, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do this. We're gonna be lazy and do return here. And otherwise, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can do else here because we don't really have anything else. We don't really need anything else in here, right? So, and then now if I uh, take this index and uncomment DevTools, bleh, that is a wrong button, and we do yarn start, we should actually see the DevTools open, right? Uh, unexpected token import. Um, how the hell is what? What? Stable register run in this context, uh, and now it's broken. I wonder why. Now that's a curious case. Okay, wait a second. So if I command this, don't know, it's gonna start working. No, it's not. Uh, what are you trying to import? Require source index. Yes. But you are supposed yours. Oh, right. Okay. Because we have this thing. Okay. Yeah, that, that might be a problem. Um, now here's the question. That is exactly, so basically it takes the, the current, um, this is what we want to have, right? Because it needs to, so if I do this and start it, it will actually start working. There we go, okay, right. And we need the separate Babel config for our rollup because it needs to exclude the modules. Um, external helpers by Babel RC. So how do we, how do we do that actually? Um, Modules false, Babel RC, yes, yes, presets latest, plugin, uh, 
so how do you I mean they bar C false option to gulp task now this is not what I want this is under wait a second so babe uh, let's see babel register right so uh, it's actually one package now yeah so the question is can you Babel register can you provide it any options um let me increase this ah yes there we go so you can actually just say only extensions cache cache this is options as well as plugins and presets cool so we can actually in this case leave it as is for uh roll up and then in this case we can just say so this is not the problem of if yeah 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 yeah, yeah sort of okay but we can just do this and say um where, where did i i closed the babel rc didn't i we can say uh so i can kill that format this and that is a very strange way to format it okay i think it messes up with um uh, uh, okay so the prettier doesn't exactly work nice with um with mix of uh, css js and html and, and all that kind of stuff i guess or maybe maybe uh, maybe it's another plugin interfering or something so we need modules here uh and we need react this is another one and this is yes so presets let, let us format this a bit nicer then we have react and trading commas and everything and then if we do yarn start now should be working perfect okay and uh yeah so if i now just remove uh so let's say uh production we just say electron dot right so say yarn production so in theory we should see the window now nah, it's still what that um did it, is it because i opened it last time myself now here's the question no it still opens it um that is very weird now if node env is test and do this otherwise require admin.js oh god why are they so loud um okay i mean let us let us just do this i'm i'm, I'm kind of curious right now am i misunderstanding how the environment works in this case that might be the case uh undefined so theoretically console log load app right did i compile the version with uh okay so it, it is loading the minified version nah oh i'm an idiot <laughs> of course because it's not in the compiled version it's in my bootstrap function uh, that explains basically everything um right so we need to change something here to actually see the difference right so home uh we can take the component nav bar say like this and then if we do yarn production we should not see it because it's the old file exactly and if we do yarn start we should actually see the changed uh code perfect okay so now it works i stopped being an idiot and it started working uh perfect uh, so we command this right so we did that we set up the build uh, i'm thinking maybe it's a good idea so remove that and configure the roll up to uh do this so we create a dist and then we do yarn build so we should have a dist folder now right and then in index html we actually require dist admin.js there we go cool um okay uh let me think so we get ignore dist because this is not something we want to add let me see the diff i think 
this is a good point to say okay okay there's some bunch of yarn stuff changed uh, we add the roll up config uh, use roll up to package app into one uh, file here's the question i was thinking about using yeah i forgot about it um right uh roll up wait there was a an example somewhere that i closed i guess so we need uglyfy is there a roll up uglyfy because like we want it minified right even though we don't really have any travel time uh, the engines are still better at parsing uglyfied code i'm using it enough rather than uh, normal code okay plugins uglyfy so first run babel then we're on uglyfy and then i guess i need to install it yarn add dev uglyfy and we go with yarn build okay come on let us make uh what uglyfy plugin unexpected token keyword const uh i guess it needs some parameters um Uglify JS, which by since a lot plugin Uglify to use unstable version by passing minify. Okay, so this is what we want. Okay, uh, so we need this Uglify thing, and we need add dev this one, and then we do this, and I guess in what was it Uglify? Okay, so we pass the options, empty options, and then minify function. Let's try that. Um, Okay, let's see this app.js and it is indeed minified. Looks good. Uh, now yarn production. Uh, there we go. Make sure it works. It does indeed. Seems to be loading. I mean, obviously loading indicator is still missing all over the place, but that's a different question. Okay, so we did that. Um, let me commit that. Git C minus M use uglyfy to minify the code. Build code. Right, so now that we have our app, uh, what we do want is to package it, right? So, because right now, like if you want to ship it to the user, you would have to ship the whole folder and say, hey, install Node.js, install Electron, and then do npm run and that is that is not how you ship applications right not not exactly user friendly so electron i believe there was an official um official package for that that is electron packager there we go i mean kind of semi-official i guess because it's an electron user land but uh, let's go and use that so yarn odds dev electron packager i think it's just a very simple command line tool where we just say, uh, so we got the, our build thing and then we get package thing. Uh, and by thing, I mean NPM script, of course. Come on, why is it taking so long? Okay, uh, electron packager, source, dear app name, platform, architecture, optional flags. Uh, okay, so source dear is dot, app name is BPGS electron, right? Platform, um, can I build for multi-platform? Uh, let me see, usage, API documentation, um, full bar Darwin, programmatic API. There's even in starter makers, okay. Um, right, app name, usage of Electron, come on, show me, just show me some example. I mean, seriously. Uh, targets JS. Yes. Maybe that will help. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we can just say architecture X. I mean, everyone's running X64 by now. We don't care about 32 bit. Uh, and we can just say, I mean, let's go for Darwin for now, or maybe Darwin and uh, Win32. No, wait, Darwin is MacLayers or not? Um, here's the question, OS X, Linux, uh, Windows, Mass, no. Ah, Ma ah, Mass is Mac App Store. Okay, no, that we definitely don't want that. Um, package JSON is broken. So what did I do to break it? 
oh newer okay so it was updated uh yes we close it don't save oh because it's written the electron packager there got it um right yes please package and let's try that right so in theory if that works we should actually see the um macOS app that i can just drag into my applications and uh execute so let's see how that goes uh we have a failed thing npm prune production may not delete what hey um i i am not sure why that happens let's try again i mean i guess you would force it with sudo but that sounds like a terrible idea come on no still fail may not delete um right let's see sublime log file Verbose uh, current tree, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, gently RM, why you may not delete Bluebird? So there's like some prune production, may not delete bin. Uh, okay. Unbuild RM stuff, node modules. Stage. I'm not like what is it even trying to do um, yeah okay uh, all yeah I can specify all but we only need that uh, ah there is no prune option so we can try that um, I guess theoretically that would mean that um, it will leave all the node modules in right which we don't really want for production but I guess I will need to dig a bit more to find out why it throws this uh, error here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I guess it tries to prune something. So what do we have in the, we have Babel here, we have Electron from Packager. So this, all this stuff should not be required. So it's probably Babel. And the question is, how the hell do we make it work? Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll have to dig a bit about it okay what wine um why do i need wine oh i guess wine is required to build windows target okay uh no 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 thank you you know what i'm just gonna stop on on, on darwin for now there you go okay cool can open this folder and uh that is tiny i'm sorry but i cannot increase the size of it there we go we got our app here and if i launch that we see our app um, which is again working as you would expect you obviously don't have any electron stuff here anymore because it has been removed since it's a production thing um, one thing I'm thinking is first of all we need to adjust yes this hello world because it's not hello world bpgs electron electron there we go okay now uh, let us try to figure out why the no prune um, doesn't work so theoretically bin electron um, packager dot bpgs electron platform uh, darwin darwin arch x 64 right uh yeah okay uh, my srmrf we kill that and restart that batteries are yeah go away batteries i know you, you are fine for now at least okay so here's the question why does it fail or does it try wait does it by any chance link itself and then try to remove itself from there because that would be the stupidest thing ever Okay, let's try it. npm minus g install electron packager. So we're gonna install it globally. Then I'm gonna kill it from here, which is kind of a bummer if it doesn't work this way. Mm, turn, 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 turn. 
Telegram Forge as well, creates, builds, and distributes. So I guess it's like a CI server. No, okay, this is a scaffolding. This is boring. Okay, uh, yarn, remove electron packager. So let's try using it globally. Uh, okay, NP, uh, yeah, so we do, where's our, there we go. Yeah, obviously it should be the global one. I will be very surprised if that actually works. No, it's not, okay. So it tries to remove bin from node modules and it can. Uh, I have no idea why. Can we just try run this npm prom production here? May not delete. Uh, okay, so is this this is an npm error. Uh huh. Npm may not. Uh, let's see what it, this means. Production fail. Yeah, maybe npm check minus g let me see maybe there's a new npm version that fixes it no there is not uh this is a known issue and oh good luck um yeah, is there a workaround please no okay so we fall back to that npm sometimes is a huge pain in this <laughs> okay Right, um, so my removal of electron packager from here was uh, not really necessary. Yes, let's add it back and then I wanna remove it, npm minus g rm electron packager. Kill it from my global dependencies because I wanna have a thing in my system. So yarn package, package, yeah, no, that, that, that package please, there we go. Here's the question, will that work? If that was an NPM bug, that would, like I, <laughs> that would be super ridiculous. It was indeed. Hey, we, we have, it works. Amazing, okay. Um, so we have, yeah, 180 megs. That's quite large, but um, Let's go inside and have a look at where's our app actually. It's, I think it's in resources and there, there it is. There is our, it's actually 230 kilobytes just. So this is our app, this is our archive. Um, I believe if we copy that, wait a second, we can paste it here, this OSR thing and open it with, um, Oh, uh, let me think. There should be like Kika probably should handle it, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I guess maybe remove it to zip. I don't remember. I think it was like zip. Yes. No. So uh, I guess it's not zip, but something a bit more complicated. Okay. But basically, this is archive, and uh, actually, all the files that we uh, coded ourselves are compressed in there, and this is what loaded is loaded into the electron uh itself upon the launch right so that we see our app okay um where's my app now what's going on okay now something breaks let us re-enable the dev tools and then uh yarn package i guess maybe we screwed something up over the uh, okay um Gonna kill that, yarn package. No, let's do build. Just to make sure we have the latest thing. Yarn package. Obviously it's gonna take some time to do that, but uh, you know, let's see. Okay, so I'm curious why it breaks now. We, theoretically we pre-compiled everything. Maybe I forgot, no, I mean, we have the env plugin, right? For the Babel, so in theory, uh, let's launch that. There's our dev tools. File not found. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, this, this might be a problem. And can I find module react? Uh, okay, so if we, but 
they are not in debt dependencies. Why are you complaining? And the interesting thing is that if we do no prune, it works fine, right? So let's try that again. Ah, uh, yeah. Camera minus ref, bam. Yarn package, there we go. I guess maybe prune function in the um, electron packager removes a bit too much. So be careful not to include node modules you don't want into your final app. If you put them in the section of package, blah, 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 blah. Okay, in addition, folders like .git, node modules bin will be ignored by default. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure why that breaks actually, but it obviously it removes something that is, or not rather not something, but quite a lot of stuff that it needs to run, right? This way works perfectly fine. Okay, uh, and that is, so how big is our, seems to be, yeah, it seems to discard like all the node modules content. So it's still 230 kilobytes. I guess it includes them somewhere else. No, this is the binary, this is the framework. What app? Ah, there we go. This is our stuff. Okay, so this is what we're interested in, right? So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna say uh, full and uh, let us just move it over here. Then we can kill that. Uh, let what? No, we don't want to screw you. I'm just gonna do that. Now we're gonna remove that no prune flag and say yarn package and see what's the difference. So, because I am really curious what the hell does it remove there so that it basically, there's no, I mean, don't, so it theoretically it should only remove the dev dependencies, right? Which is this, <laughs> but it seems to be just not including any dependencies at all, which is not what we want for sure. Um, yeah, come on, where's my finder? It's not, not open, okay. All right, uh, open. There we go, okay, uh, let us do this way. So I am gonna open another window. Um, I guess this way will be easier. No, maybe not. Let's try that again. Second window, please. There we go, okay. Um, so this is a new one. Show package contents, contents, macOS. No, there's no macOS, was with resources app, right? And then this is the, this one. Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> packaged itself inside. Perfect sense. Uh, this is what you usually do. Um, okay, app. So excluding excluding this thing, which we don't definitely don't need there. We got what? We got node modules, which actually seem to, wait, why is there Babel now? No, please don't, we don't need to remove that. There is Babel with a, That is the new one, right? Yes, it is. So did I remove no prune? Yes, I did. I am very confused right now, 178. Okay, this case, uh, let's see the app size. Am I just seeing things? 233, okay. So uh, resources app, contents resources app. So what do you node modules dist uh, source test? Do we we have dist right? We have our app ninjas. Well, it's fine. Twenty five kilobytes. So let's see here. Dist app ninjas. I mean, of course we could just package everything into app ninjas with the resolve thing. Um, let me see. Maybe that's a better solution. So roll up node resolve. Uh, no algorithm, yes. Let's see, let's try. Odd yarn, odds dev. So we should say, uh, yeah, I could close your stuff. We can go up. Um, we don't need that anymore. We don't need that any. Ah, come on. Okay, we're done with this. No, god damn it. Okay. 
Um, I think it just cleaned my, uh, yes, please put that stuff back. Um, how, how do you do that on Mac right I was empty trash, copy, reveal and find. You know what, screw that, I don't care. I didn't really have anything important in there anyway. Okay, um, let me think. So roll up, roll up, roll up, and we need roll up config. And here we need this uh, import resolve from resolve plugin. I'm gonna say uh, resolve. And in this case, we have to say module field for as things module if possible, default true, default false, it doesn't matter. Use main field, so we say, uh, okay, browser will be ignored. We don't care about that, extensions is fine. Modules only doesn't care. Um, common JS, okay. Since most packages folders are common JS. Ah, okay, so we need another plugin. Right, okay, I see. That's what was the problem last time. So basically it was hitting the common JS modules and was like, hey, I, I don't know what to do with them. So we need another plugin. Common JS, yes, uh, let's do that. And uh, basically we just need to say resolve and then we need to say, uh, so we don't really need to pass it anything, right? At least we should try it like this. Common JS, format and uh, yarn build. So unexpected, what token 300? I have 300 lines in there really. Control index line 349. Yes, I do. It is a large class. Oh, JSX. Um, now it doesn't understand JSX. How come it doesn't? I guess first go through Babel and then resolve. Is that? I should fix it, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, dist. Uh, it's now, it's still 24 kilobytes. And this I can see. So, ah, no. No, okay, wait. Okay, this is just one line. Uh, can we reliably navigate that in Vim? Okay. Um, I, what did that do in the end? Format, can, yeah, come on, JS. So, do they have named exports? Strict mode, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I guess. I mean, maybe we can, no, wait, wait a second. 24 kilo, right? So let's kill dist yarn build. Uh, there you go, yarn build. Okay. Oh, um. Right, of course, I am being an idiot because all of that stuff is external, so it doesn't load it. So we want to say that the only external thing is um, Electron, right? So this is what we want to say. And now, now this should work. Uh, but not resolve treating the external dependency author uh, an expected token so it's have problems importing package JSON. okay so we have to say that uh util fs and like all the node stuff is external fs uh util net what else do they, do they have punny code what is punny code i never heard about that stuff node js what is this is that part of node Okay, this is something I've never used. Okay, that is deprecated uh, and it's still used in some packages. Okay, I see. I mean, okay, we'll, we'll add it here. That's fine. Got funny code, events, URL and TTY, I think, right? So let's, meanwhile, let's see roll up uh, JSON. So it should theoretically only complain about JSON now. Roll up plugin JSON. There we go, okay. Yep, yarn uh, dev roll up plugin JSON. Um, 
da, 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 import JSON from here. I don't even remember where I import JSON. Maybe it wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't me, it was someone else. Okay, and uh, JSON. So we'll do that. We'll do, no, I guess first Babel, then JSON, then resolve, then common JS, then uglify, and we're done. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to launch. Come on. Build. Can we work now? Nope. We got okay. Is there a way? Is there a way to say roll up? We're using Node.js. Everything Node core is external. Um, let me see. Roll up external. Okay, roll up external Node.js core or std lib, I guess. Uh, node resolution, node resolve. Yeah, can I? Or no, it doesn't mention anything about core extensions. Prefer built-ins. Uh, prefer to built-in modules or local ones. We, okay, so I can try. This is for resolve, right? Prefer built-ins. True. And theoretically, then I should be able to kill all of that. I think. Is that how it works? No, it's not. And there's duplicate imports in some package. How the hell? Okay, I guess we need to say that we actually prefer common JS stuff. So JS next false, default true, main true, browser false. This looks fine. This looks, uh, this looks fine. Yes. Why is it complaining? It shouldn't even touch that script. Every AWS sign to what is this? Um, I am very confused right now. Oh, why does it never work from the first try? <laughs> format CGS. I don't really need format, right? Because it's just, I mean, it's no, I guess I do need format, but we can we can also go with uh, if uh, immediately invoked function. That though shouldn't really change anything. Oh, I guess that the problem is in common JS module, right? So it's 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 probably transforming it uh, in incorrect way. Ignore global source map. Include, exclude, name the exports, ignore condition. So we can, I guess we can just say exclude it. Not even sure where this thing comes from. Let's try excluding it. Uh, so there is an AWS sign two. I have no idea what this thing is. I probably should have a look. There we go. Okay, I'm built. Still need to figure out the external dependency stuff. And it seems to be actually working. No, it's not. Um, prop types is not exported by React React. Yeah, that is exported, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we can say where is just next? Yeah, so we can let's try using the same. So this prefer built-ins doesn't really do anything for us. Maybe this way will work. So what we also need to do is figure out how to make it treat all the node stuff. Because I don't want to like manually enter all the core stuff. No, it still fails. Uh, and come on. Name the exports. Why don't you like it? Yeah, this is the example, but that doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I mean, maybe. 
yeah okay let's try using prefer built ins true because there was less errors i think when i used prefer built ins right Right, so why does it not import? First of all, why does it use the ES6? Yeah, because I said JS next. Uh, uh, what do I do? How do I fix this crap? This is slightly annoying. Okay. Um, let us Google it, React prop types so what we want is react prop types um da, 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 name is but is not exported by this is what we want to google for right let us see uh react redux react does not export default renders not blah, 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 blah. um i guess let's try roll up prop types is not exported by yeah, render. Uh, yeah, this seems to be a bunch of roll up errors. Let me solve that. React doesn't really provide yes. Uh, is it just an uh, origin file for Babel works? I mean, I get that. Oh, okay. So you can. Ah, I see. Okay. So you can uh, override named exports and say that this actually exports prop types to fix the legacy bonkers from. So this is what we want. Okay, let's see if, if anyone else is importing. It's React Router. I mean, it's pretty new, so it shouldn't actually use it that way, right? Uh, that is a ton of... Okay. M3U, uh, yeah. Okay, so we let, let us alias more stuff. Uh, playlist parser yes then um and it's gonna Im export that, that, that come on m3u okay now here's the question wait a second uh no this is not where did i search for it roll up uh user mode modules no resolve roll up complaining about external dependencies i guess is to the leap maybe that's how you should search for it Let's module it. Yeah, that sounds like a good name. Uh, blah, 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 external FS. I mean, are you telling me I should put all of them in there? Mm, no module testing. Uh, that sounds like a terrible approach, but um, I guess let us say, okay, const std lib. std lib, there we go. And uh, external TD lib. There we go. Okay. Now, so zilib crypto timers event. This is the most boring way to configure stuff ever. I kind of think I know why it's mo the rollup is mostly used for small libraries rather than large projects because. Um, at this point, I find that Webpack is might be easier to set up. Uh, maybe it's because I don't just have enough um, enough experience with it. But this is seriously annoying. Search. Okay. Uh, Built. See what else? I, I think it was like URL and FS and all that kind of stuff. Net TTY DNS. Yeah, URL net uh, dns tty query string yes you guessed correctly okay so it seems like it actually compiles there's a still a bunch of uh, so there's path there is http https tls uh, net i already have 
query string I added, URL I have, dgram. Okay, um, just gonna, <laughs> it's taking a while. I mean, how big is it gonna be? Threading is just gonna package the whole thing in there, right? There we go, okay, whoa, 40, 73 seconds. Okay, that is, that's actually not too big. I expected more. Okay, let's see, did I get caught? Have I caught all the modules? Ask the question, uh, FS, funny code, okay. FS, funny, funny code, default. Uh, that seems to be it. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now sort. There we go. Nice and easy. I'm in one minute build time and then one more minute to package it. Not completely bad. Um, okay. Once this is done, we can actually try to run it and see if that actually starts. Because this is this is a good question. Will that bundle actually work? I mean, theoretically, maybe 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 I should have just say C CGS. Maybe that maybe that will be faster if I do CGS. That's a good question. Let's try. Okay, sixty three seconds. Let's try CGS rebuild. So now we should not see any errors aside from this warnings, uh, but it's one-to-one -one name mapping, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Default is not exported by index. Um, I guess I have to say that it is uh, default. Let us try that again. So it looks like when you specify the different types of modules, it also behaves differently. What is this C A W P K? You know what? While it's building, I'm just gonna go with node modules. What was it? Yarn health. What was it? Yarn Y. Um, Two yes, so a yarn y uh, request depends on it. Okay, to uh, this yeah, this is way smaller than it should be. Package JSON. So the, ah, this is from Mikhail Rogers. Okay, I can get behind it. Um, what? Uh, no, that's that's the wrong window. Let me move it over here. Come on, come here. There you go. Earlier signing originally pulled from Knox uh, maintained a vendor request now standalone module. I'm not sure why request JS needs it, but whatever. Right, export default index index default. Uh, default is not exported by node modules, but I just I just did named export. But if we do immediately invoked function expression, then it works. Here's the question. Maybe there is. So we needed the common JS thing, right? <laughs> Named experts, full bar, uh, default. Is there anything that mentions default? No, there is not. Okay, let's try the immediately. I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter what format we use for the compiled thing, right? The immediately invoke function expression is also fine. Uh, the question is, will that actually work? So we're gonna see in a second. Oh, 
Come on. Reduction. So this should start it. Uh, yes, please pop out. And TTY is not defined. Okay. Uh, how the hell is it not defined? Should be an external, ext I mean, okay. I guess it does need to be CGS. So the question is, how do we tell it that it actually, God damn it. No, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Close, um, build. So the main thing worked with the previous stuff, but uh, maybe it should be like this. Maybe it's not an array. Yeah, so roll up. So node modules, AWS, index. Uh, God, why didn't you open it there? God damn it. Come here. There we go. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Import A from A. Export default, roll up common GS, name export. Okay, now here's the thing. I get it named export and then, I mean, am I doing this correct? I am slightly confused because it does have an explanation on default. No, it doesn't. Um, Right, so AWS, where is it? There it is, index. Imagine it exports, module exports. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, so that exports a bunch of stuff. And yeah, okay. Now, how the hell do you bootstrap that? Uh, yeah, default is not exported. Yeah, I know that it's not exported. Um, so how do I map that? Can I override that too? Named. Okay, yeah, that's that's because the names are matching. Uh, I'm sure passing an array containing the IDs, ID, boolean, conditional runtime dependency. Ah, okay, maybe, maybe, wait a second, maybe that will work. Um, because I, I am not even sure if this AWS sign two is used. Okay, uh, let's try to build that. Because we can just ignore it, right? Because it will be required in the source anyway, that it should work fine without any company. I mean, we can actually ignore just the whole node modules, I guess, but uh, Nah, no, we can't, we can't, we really can't. Please tell me you can compile finally. There we go, okay, 46 seconds. That is actually a lot better. This, and we got 1.8 meg. Um, okay, here's the question. Yarn production, will that actually work? Uh, now there's some humidified copy of the development build, the constructor inherit of null of undefined. Um, that is a lot of lines. Okay, yeah, I guess that is a bad way of doing it. Or rather, I would probably spend more time figuring it out how to make it work rather than making it work. It might be related. You know what? I think I know why it all breaks. So, okay, we kill that. We kill that. The Babel. Okay, we just leave the Babel and Aglify. I think I understand now why all this crap happens. We don't need external anymore. Okay, we do that, yes. Uh, what is now, wait a second. So I will explain in a, in a second why I think at least, um, 
remove this one, this one. Why uh, it doesn't work as I expect it to. Okay, uh, let me just make sure these guys are the front dev tools. Ah, yeah, right, okay. I killed the external ones while they should be there actually, so we can make it CO head uh, roll up config. See yarn or some stuff. Package, uh, packager, yeah, okay, packager is fine. Index, yeah, so we don't need that. Um, da -da 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 -da, let me think. Index.js, we comment this part. Okay, so here's what happens. I finally understand why it doesn't work the way that uh, the packager, basically what it does. So whenever the packager installs the production dependencies, it seems to be looking through what is used. And because we have some of those dependencies used like this, it just goes like, hey, you know, they're not used anywhere, so I'm just gonna kill it. And this is why half of the files are missing. So in this case, we will have to say actually uh, no prune because otherwise it will prune all the required, um, all the required dependencies as well, right? So we will have a bunch of stuff um, bundled in together. Like it's gonna be like, what was it? 20 megabyte more, obviously it's not very nice. And we will try to figure, I will try to figure out the way um, to make it slimmer, to actually make it work. Maybe maybe there's a roll up plugin that includes uh, CSS. So yeah, this way it works perfectly fine. Okay, so there's probably a, um, a roll up plugin that allows you to include libraries like this because those are essentially injected into window right so this is what we need to do with a uh, roll-up tool um yeah but it kind of works uh, and um, that was a long a lot of <laughs> wasted time figuring out why the hell it doesn't work that was my own fault all the way along uh it's electron package um basic electron package build Okay, so I'm gonna push that now. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in chat if you're watching right now. If you're watching later on YouTube, feel free to ask in the comments as usual. So I pushed that, let me think. Um, I think at this point, this is just about everything I wanted to do for today at least. Um, what else? Yeah, I think so basically we packaged it. We need to set up auto update. So this is one thing that I haven't touched on yet. I will try to figure out the better way of including those because you know this is the simple way for development obviously but it's not very nice and it's not very controlled because as soon as the package updates and the uh, URL here changes then you're screwed basically which I mean yarn log protects you from this but still not very nice would want to do this with requires but uh, we'll see so I'll have to read on about that um, maybe I think rollup should support CSS most likely I mean has a bunch of plugins. Uh, CSS and templating, CSS only. There you go, plain and simple CSS. So we can do that. Um, but, oh, we even can bundle it in a separate file. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, I think in the next live stream we can try, or maybe I can just try to research that a bit and see if there's a better way of doing that. And then uh, just make a addition to the video where I talk about packaging. Um, there will be no video or no live streams during the next week, at least until Friday, because I'm going to Prague for a few days. So once I'm back, we're going to continue. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're pretty close to finishing once again. So it's just like this one uh, small issue and then auto updating. And we are basically done with this. So we've, I think I've covered everything unless I'm forgetting something. If I do, do let me know in the comments uh, and uh, yeah. I think that will be it for today. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for suffering through all of this with me and I see you again next time. Bye.